Hello, hello everyone, and here I am with another LEGO Star Wars Technic review for Throwback Thursday. And this one is on the Destroyer Droid slash Droidica from the year 2000. So on the front of the instruction booklet here, see the LEGO logo, Technic logo, Star Wars Episode 1 there, and set number 8002, picture of the Destroyer Droid there, and the name down below. And on the back, is all new is Bow Droids, that which I reviewed last last throwback Thursday. And on the back, also new Pit Droid, which I previously reviewed, and then the alternate build, which is the original uh, AAT. So yeah. And in the middle of which is how to fold it up, and of course the main feature of it. So this here is the destroyer droid itself. Okay, so here we go. So with the feet, they are of course uh, Robo Rider headpieces in dark gray. And color scheme consisting of dark gray and dark brown. Kind of well suiting for it, its appearances. But in the midway section, there's some more though. There's plenty of them, like Technic things. Not even close to the coat hanger pieces. And about how it'll work, you'll see in a bit. And then for the upper arms of which is that do swivel in and outwards. And also good use of the like uh, old style rubber tube pieces that we've seen on Scuba Throwbot, but in dark brown. So if you're mocking, or if you're a mocker, this would be a good way to get them. And also do got the couple of gun barrels, which built out of the classic space pieces and to various rods and all. But also, there's little accents of light red here and there, like on there and there, and also on the like main features uh, button thing, and the upper area of which made out of the various Technic holder things, and also those uh, old pieces seen on Waka and Kangra set, but in dark brown. And also those old style wire pieces, which have been used in very few Technic sets, but haven't seen them used out other than this set. Which and how they attach is, is if I can show you this, where you can like unclip it somehow. How you clip it is like that. Oh, oops. Sorry, technical difficulty. Where you just unclip it like that and it makes, just slips in like that. Kind of interesting, something that I haven't seen in quite a while, which I don't think they've used in any other sets. But interesting to see it here. Well, there's, and there's two kinds of versions of the piece. That connects to the Technic uh, Mixel joint there, as well as that slip through uh, pins and axles. And the head of which uh, does look kind of like that, it appears to be that of a Droidica, like with the same pieces there, and also some like rods with red studs on them for the eyes. But like if this were done nowadays, probably use flick wire missile pieces for that. But as for the main feature of which is if you raise this up, fold the legs in. Oh, whoops. Sometimes these rubber bands do kind of come off, so be aware of that. And then fold the whole upper area into it like so. 
Oh, whoops. Sorry, this is kind of hard to do. I put it there and it's all folded up. And now the whip's starting to come undone. And let me zoom out a little bit. Or back up a little. Let's see, it goes a little. Uh, well, cool feature to it, but yeah, kind of hard to do. So let's give it another roll. Oops. I'm not sure how it's done. If anyone knows the right way to do so, tell in the comments. And what else is there to say? Not much, but yeah. So my overall verdict on this set, well, I think this is a pretty good set for the year of 2000 and still kind of holds up to this day. Like, of course, usually see these as micro builds, of course, but at least nice to see, but great to see it in technic form with an actual rolling feature from the films, and yeah. If you still have access to this set, I'd say definitely go ahead and get it. Oh, also forgot to mention that. At least the legs of which also done kind of well. Well, for standing and balance as well in a tripod fashion, and yeah. And if you want to, like, Get this for your Star Wars Episode 1 or prequel trilogy collection. Also, definitely go ahead and find it. Like on eBay Brinklink or whatever. And that is it with this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.